Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a client billing and payment tracker in Google Sheets. As you are seeing, we have created this beautiful tracker wherein we are showing the total amount due, total payment received and this is the total outstanding. Here we are showing the invoice status analysis like how many invoices are pending, how many overdue, how many are paid. And this is the payment method breakdown for how many invoices you have received the payment in cash, in credit card, in PayPal or bank transfer. Then we are showing here outstanding amount by client. So you can see on client 8 we have bigger amount. Then here we are showing the payment received by the payment method. And this is the amount due by the invoice status. And here we are showing the payment due by the due date. And this is the payment received versus due amount by the client. Now I will show you the data. This is the normal data. Here we have the client name, then we have billing date and due date, amount due, payment received. This is the outstanding amount. And this is the payment date. And here we are showing the payment method. And this is the invoice number and payment terms, invoice status, and this is the notes. In the outstanding, we are simply using the formula amount due minus payment received. Okay. So we will use this same data. Here we have created the drop down and here also we have created the drop down. To create the drop down, you can simply select your data. Then you can right click, go to the drop down. Then here you can enter the different type of drop down and you can change the colors also from here. If you want to change like for cash for bank transfer for credit card you want to give some other color you can do that and similar to the other one you can just create so similar to the payment status you can create the drop down now we are going to use the same data to create the tracker so what i will do i will add a new sheet here on this sheet 5 we will create this tracker which we have created here okay so now let me explain you how we can create that here so first of all, let's select the range from column A1 till A7 and just go right and we will take around column S or R. So let's say I'm taking the column S and we will fill here some color. So I'm taking here this color. Go to the view. So uncheck the grid lines from here. Okay. Then we will reduce the column width of the first three column like we have done here. So let's reduce that and then we will fill slightly darker color from the row number eight. So let's reduce the column width for the first three column. Take around this column width. And here we will fill little darker color till the end. Let's say till number 50. Then go to the fill and let's take this color this time. Okay. And the same thing we will do here also. Just fill the same color. All right. Now here we will fill some lighter color like we have done here in the back end. You can see which will be from row number six. So let's come here and go to the row number six and just fill this lighter color and the lighter color we will take this color but we want to make more lighter so what we can do we can just go to the add a custom color and we can make it lighter from here just click on ok so you can see it is more lighter now okay now in the top section like we have created here this from the E to column P, we will fill this more darker color and we will create the title. So let's come here and select the first three rows from the column number E and till column number P. And let's fill here a little more darker color. So I'm taking this color here. And we will merge this whole area. So use the merge cells. And we can take the font as Arial rounded font color, take the white and size increase little bit. And then here you can type 
payment tracker or whatever title you want to put here okay and just select this then align this center and middle and increase the font size all right now our design is ready we will create the cards like we have created here and to create the cards what we will do we will select here two cells like we have taken here that is row number five for the total amount due okay on the row number five we will take these two cells and use merge cells and here you can fill some color like uh, I have filled here this darker color this one increase the row height for the row number five and then we will select some other area to fill the number to show the number like here we have taken the till the row number 11 so the same thing we will take till row number 11 and use merge cells and increase the slightly row number 11 and we will fill here lighter color of the same theme so i will take this color here okay then we will select this range and we will go to the borders and here we will take the white color border and the line we will take this thicker line and say all borders okay now our card will look like this we can copy this card and we can paste it here and here also and here also and take one more and just paste this here also okay now we will reduce the column width for these columns which is available in the between of the card so you just need to press the control key then click here so it will be selected and then you can reduce the column width in one go like this okay now we will increase the column width of the cards column so we will select this keep the control key press then use the mouse to select these and then increase slightly like this all right we can reduce the column number r and s column width slightly so let's take this size of the column width all right so our design is ready now we can start putting the formulas and if you want to take the different colors here you can take that so you can come to this seat and let's say here i want to take some other color so let's say i'm taking this green color here and here also let's take this green theme here you can take some different theme let's say blue theme and take this blue here and here you can take some other colors let's say i'm taking this one In the background we can take the white color because we will show here the charts okay so just change the title color only take the different color let's say i'm taking this one okay so this is ready now here we will put the title like total amount due we will quickly format this and this formatting we will apply to this all so we will select this whole range and then use center and middle and then take the font name arial rounded and increase the font size and font color take white okay so this is amount due and then we can take the payment total payment received and total outstanding amount we can take this from the data also this is the payment received the second one and here we can use the total outstanding amount this one here we will show the charts like we are showing here invoice status analysis we can copy this one also or you can just type this and this one will be payment method breakdown so we can just paste that here okay so we have created all the cards now we will show the numbers here so let's use the sum here and that's then come to the data and this is the total amount due so we will take the sum of column d and just hit the enter so we are getting that total amount here align this middle so we will apply this formatting in these three cards right so, so just align this center and middle and then take uh, area rounded and take the size slightly bigger okay around 30 and here the font color we will take the same font color from this theme so i'm taking this one or more darker even okay and then you can use this number formatting and here you can take 
this number formatting. If you don't want two decimals, you can remove them. Now we will use this sum function here also. Let's use this sum and then sum we will apply for the total payment received, which is this column E. And just hit the enter. Okay, you can change the color here also quickly. Just change the color. So let's say I'm taking this color and you can apply the same formatting here also. So let's select these two together and apply the formatting in one go. And then use the sum here also. And this time we will take the sum of outstanding amount. Okay, and then select this color. Alright, so this is done now quickly. We will insert the chart from here. So let's insert the chart. And then we will select the range for the chart. So first we will show the invoice status analysis. So just click here and come to the data sheet. This is the invoice status column K. Just select and click on OK. Now here we will use the aggregate and change the chart type and take this one. Now we will quickly format this chart. So just make it slightly smaller and uh, we will go to the customize and here we can make this as 3D chart and uh, we will not take any chart border, any chart background color. And here you can just uh, move this legend at bottom from here. Just move at bottom. And here you can see it is taking the invoice status also that is the header. So let's go to the setup and say use row one as header. Now we have three status only. And if you want to keep the same color, you can keep otherwise you can change the colors from here. Like for the pending, we want to show in red or in some other color. So you can take that one. Otherwise, let's say I'm taking this color for the pending and for the overdue. I want to take little darker color. So let's say I'm taking this one and for paid, I want to take slightly green color. So I'm taking this one. Okay. Let's move this chart here and make this slightly smaller. If you want to show the numbers also, you can just show the number from the pie chart and say value here. So it will show the numbers also. Now we can make the copy of this chart and paste that here. And we will just change the reference. This time we will take the from the payment method. So just click here and delete this range. Go to the data sheet and let's take the payment method column, which is column match. Now we will quickly format this chart also. Here we have this chart. We can convert this to the donut chart also if you want. So you can let's take the donut and make it 3D. If you want to change the colors, you can change it. But I want to keep as it is. And uh, now we will create the other charts also like we have created here. This is the outstanding amount by client. So what we can do, we can quickly insert the chart again. And we will give the range for the client name and the outstanding amount. So just go to the data tab and here the first range we will select the client name and that is available on the column A and click on add another range and this time we will take the outstanding range that is column F click on OK. And uh, if you want to make this chart 3D, you can make it 3D and just make it slightly smaller and uh, we will just add the chart title also. So just double click, go to the customize and here we will go to the chart and access title Put the chart title. Outstanding amount by client, take the font size around 12 and make it in center font color take black and make this bold. We can remove the grid lines from here. So just click and uncheck the major grid lines. And now let's keep the chart here. If you want to change the color, you can just click here and you can take the different color. Let's say I'm taking this color here and we can add the data labels also. So just click on the data labels. So data labels are added. Or let's take slightly darker color. Okay, now we will create the other charts also like we have created here. Payment received by payment method. So we can just make the copy of the existing chart. This one, just make the copy of this and paste that here. Make this slightly smaller and keep this chart here 
double click and just change this chart first but the bar chart this one and then change the range so we want to take here payment method wise payment received so we will use here payment method and payment received range so we can delete these range and the first range let's go to the data and take the payment method which is column f and add another range and take the payment received this column click on ok now go to this setup and here we will aggregate this so we can see it is created if you want to make this 3d you can make it 3d from here all right this chart is ready now we can make the copy of this and we can change the chart title also payment received by payment method let's make the copy of this chart and paste that here and this chart we will create that is invoice status buys amount due okay so let's come here and we will change the range so let's delete this and this one also and come to the data and let's take the invoice status column first that is available on column k this one just select this add another range and then we will take the amount due column d and just click on ok so this chart is also ready we will quickly change the title now we will make the copy of this chart and we will paste that at bottom and here we will show the total outstanding amount by amount due so in the tracker we have already created this area chart which is payment due by due date so let's double click here to create this chart and first we will change the range so let's come to the data and just select here due date column C add another range and then just take the amount due and click on ok now we will change this chart so in the series we will not take the due date just remove it from here and just add it in the x-axis and aggregate this okay so this chart is also ready we can convert this chart to the area chart from here so let's take this area chart you can customize this chart and here you can make it smooth and you can just come to the series and here you can take the point size let's say 7px so this chart is also ready and this chart is amount due by due date okay you can make it slightly bigger if you want now we will show the comparison of the amount due and received by the client so just copy this chart and paste that here and let's keep this chart here double click on this chart and then we will just change the range delete these range and the first range we will keep which is the client name and then we will take the another range that is amount due column d we can take the same range and just change it to the d and then add another range and that will be amount received the column e okay just click on ok now we will make some changes here and the axis we will take first use uh, row number one as header and then we will take the client name here in the x-axis and the series amount due and we will take the payment received so we are showing this comparison if you want to change the color you can change it from the series so let's say for payment received i want to make the color slightly kind of green okay all right so this chart is also ready you can change the chart title so it will be amount due versus payment received by client so friends that is how you can create this payment and billing tracker in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching